GS Goose Dusting. You may have came here with somebody else, but you're going home with me. Ugly really? body style. That's there wasn't all. any C10s there. No. George Jones, 16 Get biggest out of hits. Town. Lord Almighty. Chevy pulling a Ford. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Thin and cracked out. That's unfortunate. Bigger than Dokey. <laughs> Got some chunks. Hide, run, flee. You know what we do with these? <laughs> oh my God. Roached. Tater digging mode here. <laughs> Always white walls out to be a good american it was a kiss <laughs> you scratch that for thank the lord greyhound that's factory that holds the headliner up she's squeezing lemons so you know what that means going to look at another one what 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 does this mean would you care to write like a handbook on what all that your way. controls it was it was what was this a bit. amy jungle <laughs> Well, we went and picked the kids up from school. We got everything loaded up, all our tools and stuff. So we are headed to go look at this car for sale. It's about 40 minute drive from where we live right now. You know, we listen to you guys' comments and you're like, you know, enough with the Fairmonts. They're ugly. Too many Fairmonts. So it's a Mercury Zephyr, okay? Uh, you know, we listen to what you guys want and uh, we're going with a Mercury Zephyr this time. It's been parked for several years now. Uh, the person's husband passed away and the car just got parked. So we're hoping that it's a really super solid and clean uh, survivor car uh, is what we're hoping for. And you know, if it's a rust bucket, we may not get it, but if it's solid and got good, you know, decent interior and stuff, we're probably gonna get it. GS. Isn't that a beauty, guys? Yeah, it sure is. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice. GS Goose one. Dusting. That's in part 15 years. It says 07 on the tag. Well, yeah, That's 450, Ralphie. What? 450. Oh, it's inline 6. Cool. I like inline 6 cars better than V6 for me. Why? I don't know. I'm is just old time. He has, look, has AC, smog. Power steering, power brakes. Jeez. Had all the options, didn't it? It looks like the Fairmont had all the options. Let's see about rust down here. What is this stuff? Rats? That's the insulation from the hood. Yeah. What are them hubcaps? The seats are in pretty good shape. This is going home with me. <laughs> what is this? Really? Listen, you may have came here with somebody else, but you're going home with me. He's so stupid. <laughs> With all that horsepower breathe. Oh, yeah, you gotta let that horsepower breathe for sure. I bet the GS is the same as a Futura. We're good. Slotted bags with brand new casings. Oh. We were checking the have the tail lights to make sure they weren't loose and they like fell out. So <laughs> you may want to get them so we don't lose them on the way home. Let me get these other two. We got it. You got it. Okay. Can you put that thing on? What the heck? Oh, Jesus. Got it on there? Yeah, turn it on. I thought I brought the tank, but we completely forgot it. Probably got enough to roll. Yeah. I saw that back on the other side off the feed already. That's unfortunate. Here it is. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Let me figure out. Yeah, she's flat too. This thing's been here quite a long time. The tag says 15 years, so. I am seriously doubting this one's ability to air up. Yeah. All right, turn it off. Yeah, we're gonna have to swap out for our new casings we got with it. Are you gonna put the new casings on it? I'm gonna try to. Well, are you gonna keep them on? Oh, I don't know. Are they like right-handed threads or anything weird? Step. Is that gonna work? It's unilug, it should. 
Jeez. You can put those on your dang truck. Does it even fit this car? That's five lug. This car's four lug. They don't fit this car. Okay, we don't have a spare. And the hoops that came with it don't fit it. Is off the bead? Okay. Yeah, it's off the bead fast. Something greasy or something to put. It's not putting air in very fast, you know? Yeah. yeah. That's a problem. It's not going to air up. We tried. We need a quicker way to get air in it, really. Well, here's our dirt report. A little bit of insulation and crickets, but no parts. Look like they used to have a concrete here or something, but let's get this beauty home. Ralphie's about to have a bathroom emergency, so we had to stop at the Wendy's. I'm gonna look this beauty over a little bit. Now, I think we got at least three of these caps and we had to pull them off. Oh, look, this already went flat. I think this car is going to clean up incredibly. It looks more solid than the black Futura. Pretty even with the red Futura, I think. How cool would it be to like turbocharge a little inline six? You know, I drove a hard bargain with this lady. She told me what she wanted for it. And then I paid her not a dime more than that. I feel pretty good about that. I'm really excited about this car. Uh, looks super solid. You know, even came with a new set of casings just cause they don't fit doesn't mean they're not new hoops and casings. Summertime. Struggle's real, guys. Well, it's finally stopped raining here, so we're going to give her a look. Look at these door panels. That's unbelievable. We got some wasp action here, but the rockers look solid. What? What's that for? I don't know. I just found it. You don't know what it does? No. I guess the ice up here on too. Exactly, Ralphino. Definitely got ashtrays in the back of the seat. You want that? You need to, like, vacuum it. We'll barely have to clean this thing. Yeah. I think this is the nicest one we've got so far. But look how nice the interior is. It is really nice. Nothing but ugly body style. That's all you saw. Ugly really? body style? That's all you saw. There wasn't any C10s there. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Push the button. Give her a push. We're chained down. Oh. Okay. It works. It shows if you got low fuel, yeah. wash fluid, or the old Mustang. Uh, Mustangs had that too. Like the 4i Mustangs had that. This is an awesome Look at this. Ride. 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 Engineered. What we got in here? Oh, George Jones, 16 Get biggest out of hits. Town. I would have paid more if they would have told me that was in there. I wonder if the radio works. To put it in. So the Z, there's the Z7 badge for the other side. So the Z7 was apparently the same as the Futura. Look, we got push button cassette player and everything. Look at that. Like FM and AM. Work. Look how nice the seats are. I'm in love with this. This car is like. We Minty need, fresh. Really my favorite we need so a, far. Yeah. Is there any palm moss that come with this? I just need to know. This I didn't see any palm moss. I smelled them, but I didn't see them. My buddy Roy would say, still in the plastic right here. This one's still in the plastic. We need to put a six feet in it. <laughs> this is not still in the plastic. The headliner's falling down. Well, okay. Aside from the headliner and dash, and the this thing's wheel. basically a perfect car. Okay. I love the old wrapped steering wheel. My dad drove cars with those wraps around the steering wheel. All right, so that's three. Okay. That's the one we took off to air them up. What's in the trunk? Ha <laughs> ha, <laughs> number four. Look at that. We got a full set of caps for it. So we're about to get them on there immediately. Got a little rat action here. Please tell me it's power steering. No, it's transmission. So we got transmission issues probably. Put a six speed in it. Spare hose and two belts. Another windshield scraper. Four way. Look at this. Tell about the trunk mat. Look at those floors in this thing. Perfect. I mean. Let me see. That this is, is rare for you. It is rare for me. It still has floors. Oh, wow. We've never wow. hardly ever bought a car with floors. Hey. So we got spare parts. Oh, we got brakes. Looks like wheel seals, and that's better than most of the brake pads we have on cars around here. We need to put six feet in it. Like six feet. Godzilla. 
Godzilla Let's look under the hood again. Swap it. Sloppy Mechanic would be so proud of me right now. It is completely stopped. They have done absolutely nothing to this whatsoever. Still got a battery. I mean, how many cars we buy that actually have the battery still in them? But aluminum lid. Performance mods done. You gotta flip the lid. We have learned that you cannot transport a Fairmont with the taillights in them because they literally fall straight out. So the black one, if you watch that video, when we cleaned it up, they just fell out. You look pretty the closer I get. Please stop. <laughs> she didn't tell me it had Viper radial GTs on it. They still got the paint on them. Lord almighty. Don't ask my papa what those are right there. <laughs> he, he would tell, tell you. you. He'll tell you. All right, you follow me? Chevy pulling a Ford. I believe this is about the worst casing we've ever had that holds air. Every time you stop, it's flat again. Maybe we can sneak it in the shop, though. Uh, that's good. Check us out on other platforms at Sleeper Dude 88. That wasn't actually that bad. I can't believe it has brakes. Yeah. They must have went out there and drove it around the church parking lot or something. And this is back when cars were cars, when you can just tow them by the bumper. I love it. I love that it's got bucket seats and a floor shifter. What's that? Shirt. Come with a shirt? The tent's here. Loading, please. <laughs> Perfect shirt for you, huh? Man, carpet's nice, seats are nice. All right, well, let's try to get this thing running. We're gonna have to get this insulation out here. For sure, all the hood insulation. We got the DuraSpark, so we don't have points. This is a little after points. Might as well go ahead and pull this down, Ralphie. What do you think? Yeah. Does mom not know we're trying to film? Look at her. She's oh, she hit the tree. <laughs> she hit the tree. <laughs> it's kind of a shame to take a flip lid off, isn't it? Yeah. What do you think it's going to take to get this one running? Not much. It seems like it's in better shape than a lot of stuff we worked on it. Now, it might have vacuum hoses. Oh, okay. Never mind. Look, cruise control too, Ralphie. Yeet. Ralphie wants to see the voltage. So, we're at two volts i don't think it's gonna be enough to start it ralphie yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. we got some top quality battery cables on this one this guy actually tightened them i've actually probably never tightened battery cables in my life i can't think of a time i did it trying to get the dirt daubers off there they like cars don't There's they still things in there well we finally got them loosened up our starter still always cracked i just saw that those starter still always what about going out Look at all those ants that were underneath it. Man. Ew. Well, we got a clutch fan, so we can't spin it over by the fan, unfortunately. Is our carburetor stuck? No. I think we're good, Ralphie. The unfortunate thing is this thing's new enough to have all these electric solenoids and stuff. I hate carburetors when they got to this point. Everything's electric. I can't believe it's still got the uh, smog pump on. Look how thin that belt is. Look at that. Man, the alternator's all the way down there. Wow. Look at these, like, thermal controlled. I guess they click on and off and decide what gets vacuum. Man, everything in the 70s and 80s, man, they had vacuum lines going to everything. Huh? They probably had vacuum lines going to the tail lights on this thing. I don't know why we didn't do this before now. We definitely should have sprayed all this stuff. I just really like to just soak everything. Just give it all a good coat. That way the belt squeal, you know, when you try to do anything. Oh man, that's unusual. Whoa, it has brake fluid still. For us, that's like a record. I don't know if we've ever had one that was full of brake fluid. Let's check her oil here. Eh, we're a little shy on oil. It looks like it's, shoot, it may be two quarts low. 
Well, looks like it still has antifreeze. Oh, it's green as can be. Pretty corroded down there in the core. At least it's still got antifreeze in it. I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and pull the plugs on it. See what they look like and, oh, just pulled the end off spark plug wire. That's unfortunate. Shoot. I got the long reach extension on this one. Let's see. Oh, got the big plugs. Yummy. Yeah, look at the electrodes about closed up there with some junk. That one broke too. Man, these plug wires. And that one broke. Okay, we got an epidemic here. Anyway, I went ahead and labeled the plug wires so we don't get them mixed up. I don't want to get our firing order off. Yeah, that one broke too. Wow. Guess I'll just pull the whole cap off here. It's like I'm driving through a fancy subdivision. Yeah, that one's broke too. That one's broke too. That don't feel good. What's wrong? Why is that plug? Okay. Usually this happens with a aluminum head. Well, nothing looks funky on the threads. We busted the porcelain all to pieces. There's been like three of them like this. At least they've all come out, though. So we're gonna give it a little drink here of Marvel Mystery Oil on each one of the cylinders. I don't think the engine's stuck. You know, this will just lubricate stuff since it's been sitting for years. So this has a 13 16 bolt and in the crank. We're gonna try to turn this engine over. Is this good? Yeah, that'll work. Thank you. Is the water pump froze up? The small pump and the water pump's not turning, is it? No. I hope the water pump's not froze up. The alternator and AC compressor's turning. Well, at least the engine's not stuck. Somebody's ran over the mailbox, is what they did up here, it looks like. Man, I don't know about our water pump. I hope it's just a loose belt, but it's got two belts on it. That don't make a lot of sense. Oh, oh that socket got me. Oh, it got me. Oh, shoot. That is not looking good for the water pump. I hate that. This little guy here is locked up too, so we might as well just cut the belt off with the swamp pump. Look at this belt, Ralphie. It's like the thinnest belt. Ooh, did you see that jump back when it came off? Look at that belt, how thin it is. Thin and cracked out. Some people are. So let's see if that had anything to do with it. Oh, you little booger. You had me worried. You had me worried for nothing. It was just the old smog pumps locked up. Who cares? So we got some uh, new plugs here from Rom Auto. They look to be correct though. Yeah. AC, don't worry about that, they'll work. I mean, don't worry that two of them look different than the rest. I'm sure Wrong Auto knows what they're doing. So these are supposed to be between 48 and 52,000. That's aggressive, but hey, Ford said so. so. These battery cables are pretty sketch, but this is the first time this thing has had electricity in 15 years. No sparks, that's good, Ralphie. Yeah. Do you think it's gonna turn over with a key? Yes. There's only one way to find out. You don't understand the power that's in your hands. See what happens. Oh, buzzer came on. Oh, okay. The coil is sparking. It didn't turn, did you try to crank it? Yeah. It didn't turn over. I bet our starter solenoid's bad. Fine. Yeah. Okay, all right, all right, stop, stop. Our, our coil is sparking. All right, we're gonna try our Australian push button starter. Nothing. Well, let me. Uh, it, it's just solenoid probably, Ralph. I'm just gonna cross it out between the terminals and see what happens. Yeah, it's a cylinder with that. All right, I think I have a cylinder here. I'm just super happy that this thing is turning over, guys. This is an old style starter solenoid, but it should work just fine. We thought it might be because it's cracked. It's probably cracked and then got water in it and froze and 15 years of winters messed it up. Yeah, our uh, old battery cable's basically shot. So luckily, we had a fan. Curtis sent us these brand new ones. I had to shorten it up a bit, but look, it even has side lugs and quick release. This is race car stuff. I'm really not used to tightening a battery cable. I guess that's how you do it. Excuse you that for something. So, we got our cap and rotor here, which so far looks right to me. Sounds good. 
wonder why Ford had these like adapter things that went from a small cap to a big cap. I wonder why they couldn't just make it a small cap. We got these Prestine X Act wires with silicone. I think we got all our new plugs and wires on there. I usually just hold them up like you're rabbit hunting or something. Shortest ones to the front, longest ones to the back. Once again, just like school pictures. Well, we definitely need some power steering fluid. I don't want to burn the pump up if this thing does start. Ooh, that was kind of stuck. Well, it's got fluid in it, so it should be all right there at least to start it. Oh my gosh, the very first vacuum hose I go to move, it just tears on me. I'm gonna try to take just the top off this. We do not have a rebuild kit, so I'm trying not to mess up gaskets. Uh, how many screws does this thing have? Can we get this lid off without hurting anything? I think, <laughs> I think we've already tore the gasket. That's unfortunate. These later model carburetors scare me. There's just a lot more to them. This plug here is melted together, so we're gonna have to cut it and then put a new end on it to be able to get this top off this thing. Well, our accelerator pump, it's not very pliable, but it's not cracked yet. I think I'm gonna put some oil on it, see if that helps anything. Well, we ripped that gasket bigger than Dookie. <laughs> and look, it's like the Sahara down the bottom of this fuel bowl, full of trash and dried out. Okay, well, let's pull the floats out of this thing and try to clean this uh, bowl out. Got these little wedges in there that are labeled L and R. I don't remember having a carburetor that had these before. Tell me what those do. Here's our floats. Man, look underneath those floats. It's uh, you can tell it's been a long time since she's ran. Uh, can't just start her up. Since we can't turn this over and dump it out, I'm gonna try to blow out as much dirt as I can first. Ooh. Wow, it's like. Indiana Jones opening the Ark of the Covenant. Wow, oh, that smells. There you go. I'm going to take the main jet out now and make sure it's cleaned out. Yeah, that's good. I'm going to spray down to the jet here. Oh yeah, we're good. There's a lot of black in there. I hold this up, but it's still harder than the Waffle House application. So I don't know that it's gonna work real good or not. We may have to end up getting a kit for this if it doesn't work. Hold that wide open so I can get this linkage. I hate these little linkage on. Can you push it farther or no? Uh, what? Maybe if you get in the car and just hold it to the floor, that would be easier probably. Oh. Yeah, hold it to the floor. That means it has to go at the same time. All right, you can let off, Ralphie. My wife just reminded me it helps if you put the floats in before you put the carburetor together, so we're gonna do that now. I'm also gonna fill the bowl up with some two-cycle gas here. It is so hard to line up all these little rods at the same time. I think I got it all back in now. And we're just gonna act like we didn't rip the gasket all to pieces and just see if it works. Motorcraft, E2BECA2B22. -E -B I so just want to rip every vacuum line off, plug everything, but I kind of would like the stuff to work too, though. Does our accelerator pump work? Not seeing anything. I don't know. It's not a good sign. That should fix that. The Mercury Zephyr was produced from 1978 to 1983, just like the Ford Fairmont. It's on the Fox Potty platform, which is shared by several cars like Mustangs, Thunderbirds, LTDs, Lincolns. They usually weigh under 3,000 pounds, and they were produced all the way up until 2004. They're a great platform for drag racing or autocross. The Mercury Zephyr replaced the Mercury Comet, which was on the Maverick and Falcon platform, and it was replaced by the Mercury Topaz, which no one remembers. They were offered with a 302 in 1978 and 79, but by this year, they were only available with the 2.34 cylinder or the 200 straight six. Although there was a 255 V8 available in 1980, but they were definitely not a performance engine. Please let me know if you know anything about the GS or Z7 package because it's really hard to find any information on that. Let's do a gasoline test here. <sighs> Doesn't smell terribly old. 
Sounds empty, doesn't it? Uh -huh. Yeah. I would say, judging by the place that we got this, it's probably been siphoned out for years ago. So we're thinking about just pouring some gas in it. We're trying to see if it has any fuel in it at all. Well, it does have fuel. So my buddy Brian sent me one of these. He says it's for a boat. I don't know anything about boat stuff. So he said it's good to start siphoning stuff. We're gonna try it. It doesn't look terribly brown. Now, electric pumps usually don't like to pull fuel, so I don't know. There's no more fuel left. There we go. We'll get out when we can here. Well, it pumped for a little while. Maybe this tank is just that empty. I mean, it sounds empty when you tap on it. Maybe we can just fill it up with fresh gas. What do you guys think? Yeah. Yeah, we're not getting anything now. It's It must be empty. Does anybody else remember when gas cans used to actually like pour gas out when you used them? You gotta take the nozzle off anything now to use it. Those were the good old days. All right, are we forgetting anything, guys? Or are we good to go? Just turn the key on. Don't try to crank it yet. Ralphie wants to see if the radio works. We haven't tried anything. Look, all the lights work on the dash. You look puzzled as if you don't know how to turn on. I heard it makes something. Look. No, I'm not picking up anything. Oh, yeah. Put that in there. Ow. Just, you don't know how to put a cassette in? Is there one in it? No. Nothing? It's not working? How do you start? No, it should work. We're getting no action out of this. Light noise is all we're getting. Oh, well. Well, at least we tried, guys. I guess let's t try to start this thing. Hey, let's see if our starter solenoid works. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It is going to die. Can you believe that? It started running and missing for sure. Why is it missing so bad? We gotta take it. Oh, it might be clearing out now. Oh, it just died on its own? Yeah, it didn't do anything. Oh my god. It ran out of gas. Oh, maybe our fuel pump is not picking up fuel. Wow. We didn't even pump the gas or nothing. I had like I didn't a lot of faith in it. I probably like I had it. It blew junk all over me. <laughs> wow. That's crazy. Yeah, that like super surprised me. Did it surprise you? It surprised me a lot. I just yeah. I just right up. We didn't even try to do anything. It just cranked right off. Okay, well maybe we have a fuel pump not working or something in the fuel system clogged up. Let's try this again. I'll spray some fuel down. See if it'll start picking up. I feel it. like it didn't wiggle as bad that time. Yeah, uh, uh, it's not shaking. What's going on here? All right, well, I'll try it again. It's going so Our fuel system is working now. 
I don't want to rev the guts out because I know it's low on oil. This will let it get all that oil hot, get some of that sludge loose. There's no lights on the dashes or oil or anything. Where's your sucking noise coming from? Just a carburetor in here? Right, right, we got a fuel leak. Shut up, Wawa! So our fuel pump, I guess it's busted diaphragm or something, and it's coming out the body of the fuel pump down below with the bottom half of the diaphragm. That surprised me though. It kind of smells like gas. What's that? Not yeah. gas to you? Think? No. I would have never guessed that it would crank like first hit. I mean, I would. We it wasn't even slow crank. Ooh, Wasper. We didn't pump the gas or nothing. And that thing just took right off. Looks like we're going to need a fuel pump, but at least the fuel pump's working. Okay, we're even lower on oil now. There's like literally nothing on the dipstick, so I probably shouldn't let it run that long. So we gotta change the oil for sure, and we have got to get a fuel pump for it. Hopefully the parts store can get me one quick. She let a little smoke out though. I haven't watched the video from back there, but I saw the cloud. Pretty smoky, but you know how it is. They come around, they get running better and better the more you drive them. This has the craziest catalytic converter I've ever seen. It looks like a moonshine still down here. I didn't know they had cats that were up here bolted directly to the manifold back then. I thought they were always under the car, but it looks like it has one up here and it has one down here. So that's crazy. I didn't know they had. Where is it? It's like right there. It's crazy. That Pretty that sure it's a catalytic converter. Let's see what we got in this oil pan. I sure hope we have some oil in here. Would be, that'd be a good start. We must have only like three quarts in it or something. Oh, it's really thick. Yeah. And it's just not came down. Ooh. It's very watery what <laughs> just got on my hands. Well, at least it had some oil in it. I feel a little bit better now. I was starting to worry about it. If it actually had any oil in it, but it did. Oh, I hear it gurgling. Ooh, got some chunks. I was spraying a big blaster in there and a whole bunch of wash came out. Get out of here. There must be a big nest of them in there. Oh, look, they're still coming out. I'm, I'm, Are they on me? No, but I'm done. They must be in that bumper because I just sprayed it and they're boiling out of there. Where's your little house at? Not sure if you can see it, but there they are up in there. Oh my gosh, Dad. Oh, there they come. Hey. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh, run. Oh, oh, oh. Hide, run, flee. Can I get the filter off? Golly. Okay, that's not gonna work. Got my pliers on here now, okay. That wasn't too bad. Looks like it has a pure lighter filter, pure one. See, it's like water. So we got our new Wix filter here. And Wawa's gonna put some Marvel Mystery Oil down in this thing. I like to run that in the filter just because it's a lot easier to fill the filter up with it. And Marvel tends to loosen up our stuck hydraulic lifters good. But this thing didn't sound like it had any ticking lifters, did it? Can I do this without spilling it all? The answer to that is no. Come on, thread on there. Do I got it now, Ralphie? Push it up a little, yeah. Oh, I think I got it, I think I got it now. Ralphie, how tight do we get an oil filter? As tight as you can so that people can't get it. Exactly, you're learning. There's what we took out of it. I'm gonna say it hasn't been changed in a while. So we're putting our diesel oil in here. We just got the conventional oil today. Usually I run the synthetic, but it's been hard to find lately. We just got the 1540 uh, diesel oil today. It's got good stuff in it. After that nasty oil we took out of there, it'll appreciate this new oil, won't it? You know what we do with these? <laughs> oh my gosh. That's my boy. I'm finding more and more vacuum lines unhooked. We got one unhooked here. I can't figure out where it goes. We got two here. We got something broke off in this one. And look at this big bad boy here that's not even hooked up to anything. So we gotta plug some stuff or figure out where some stuff goes. Well, pudding came to help us. You can't nurse my hand, you little baby. So I have no idea what this one goes to, so I plugged it. Don't know where that went, so I plugged it. And these two go in this, and we're gonna hook it back up. So that should fix a lot of our vacuum issues. You gotta flip the lid, you know? Guaranteed 100 horse right there. How much horsepower do you actually think it'll make? Probably zero or less than five. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and take the old pump off. Maybe we can look at it and see what's up with it. The local O'Reilly says they can have me a new one by two o'clock tomorrow. So hopefully tomorrow we can let this thing run for good. I think I'll put an inline filter before this pump too, because if that tank has trash in it, we would like to catch it before it goes through all this. Well, the bolts for this were like, already felt loose. What's up with that, Ralphie? Yeah. So what's wrong with this thing? It must be just, I saw it coming out of here. So I guess if the diaphragm blows, maybe it pours out of there. I guess that's what that's for, like a weep hole. Look at that made in the USA, son. I can't believe it went bad. Well, while we're waiting on the fuel pump to get here, I'm gonna go ahead and put some casings on this thing. Well, our rotors don't look too bad and we still got some brake pads. What's our hoses look like? Uh, hoses, not so good. That's unfortunate. I think this may hold the record for the worst casing that still held air. How crazy is that? Hey, this one's kind of stuck. She's about to slip a belt though. God, I just can't buy a car with good casings. I was really hoping that since the brakes were still working, that they would be in better shape, but man, this hose is roached. Probably gonna end up needing some stuff. Look, it looks like they replaced the rotor and then parked it. So we're gonna try out our RU Glide that somebody sent us in the fan mail. We're just burning up the fan mail lately. We used two parts already. Usually we have pretty good luck with this. I think it's just rusted to the bead. Oh, same results. Maybe I need to adjust this angle. Oh, we're putting it in tighter digging mode here. <laughs> oh, Lord. Engaged. Oh. Same results. Crop power. I'm not going to get hurt. <clears throat> We've never had this kind of trouble. Mama says PB Blaster fixes everything, so. And at this point, what? This is gonna hurt. Okay, moving on. That's how it's supposed to work, right there. First shot. Does this have a tube, or did I just rip the core out of it? I think it may have a tube in it. Yeah, look, that was super easy. <laughs> yeah, it did have a tube in it. No wonder this one was holding there still. Finally got mom working. Oh yeah. All right, let's try our casing lubricant here. We got this fancy cable tool at the parts store the other day too. Hey, that's nice. So these casings right here are brought to you by Coker Tire. I'm trying to get them to change their name. But anyway, they're travel stars. These are, it says UN106, and it's a P18575R14. And remember, always white walls out. We're about to run out of daylight. That's what we're about to do. How many guys are at home right now saying, why didn't you paint the hoops? The hoops, they need to paint it. Ew. <laughs> yeah, that blue will come off on you. There you go, Ralphie. So I always like to seat the back bead like that. I have the valve core out of here. Pick up on that side, Ralphie, a little bit. There you go, right on the bead. Ooh. Oh, thanks, Ralphie. All right, let's go. We're good. We gotta put our little things here for our hubcaps so we can still air them up. Well, that ought to make her ride a lot better now that they hold air. Oh yeah. So Ralphie's convinced he can break this one down. This is a troublemaker one. Did no, no, it, that's what it's doing to me, it slips off. Here, try to hold it this way. This way? Yeah, like push it this way. All right, go. I'm sorry if it hurt your hands or something. No, it's just slipping, that's the same thing it's doing to me. Well, we have tried all the way until dark with this thing, so it looks like this is gonna be a job for tomorrow. You gotta spend some time in front of the TV every day to be a good American. Okay, day two, trying to get this off the rim. We may have to beat it. Can you come off? 
Almost. It's it close. Oh, yeah. finally. Yes. Well, maybe now with Rocky's help we can get it. I don't know. It is greeny. Looking Are these beautiful. flowers? There you go. Just need mom's help. <laughs> Ralphie, I think that's about the hardest one we had to break down. It was a cuss. It was a cuss. I've never had to get the air hammer out before. I didn't know that was a thing. You got that side, Ralphie? Yeah. There you go. Came off easy peasy, didn't it? Oh, yeah. She better not scratch that Fairmont, that's all I've got to say. You scratch that Fairmont! <laughs> ah, awesome. Thank the Lord, Greyhound! Oh, there you go. We don't need that where we're going. Skid douche. Oh, that was hop. easy. Hop, hop, hop. I think this may have been the spare at this point. Looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah. Easy peasy. Just like Conan the Barbarian. Pop. You want cheese stick? Don't feed him that. He'll be expecting my cheese sticks now. Do you not like it? Is there something he won't eat? He won't eat it. Oh, he's gonna wipe his <laughs> mouth off. <laughs> Man, just that hot water is taking the blue off, isn't it? Yeah. It's funny how hot the water gets in the water hose, isn't it? Oh, yeah. She's a beaut. Time to super clean them. Get the hoops now, son. Get those hoops. Man, them white walls are shining, ain't they? Yeah. Ooh, that's my legs. What if it did a wheelie like that? That'd be awesome. Come on, Ralph. You got it. You can do this. And in my hands are so sweaty. All right, let me do it before you hurt yourself. Wow. Good effort. <laughs> You'll get there one day. Oh my gosh, this is just gonna complete the look right here, Ralphie. Yeah. What a beauty. Let give him a panoramic look at this right here. Look at that. Is this the first will it start video where we put brand new casings on it? I think. I feel like it is. It's usually like in a cleanup video or a first drive, you know? But man, brand new case. Look at them white walls shining. I feel like this car should have like maybe a 70 plus year old woman driving it. Paul Mall on the lip, headed to church, you know? Well, we finally got our brand new fuel pump here. It looks identical to the other one, except for it's probably made in China. Got our cheapest fuel filter money can buy, and a gasket and some hose clamps, and we're gonna get this thing going finally, Ralphie, right? Yeah. All right, we got our gasket on there. We cleaned our block off. I put a little bit of grease on this just to help the old cam lobe out, you know? Just going the extra mile. That's what we do around here, isn't it? Yep. We're gonna go ahead and put an inline filter here. And that way we can see what's going on and that'll protect that pump too. Don't you just love these clear fuel filters? Well, hopefully that's it, Ralphie. You think that's it? You think it's gonna work now? Yeah, confirmed. Show. All right, we'll give her a crank seat. You might have to pump the gas. There you go. I saw a little bit. It's running so smooth now that we got the vacuum lines fixed. It's running super smooth. Whoa, bro, we just started it. What about the... It's so, like, quiet. What about the dash lights? Anything? What's that one say? Park brake? Yeah. Pull up on it. Pull up on it with your foot. No? Nothing? Yeah. Okay. 
There you go. All right. Well, no lights. On. I wonder if this gauge works. We only put about three gallons in it, so it probably works. Oh, it's You're in love already, aren't you? Oh yeah. It, 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 like, it's like so smooth. Well, it's not even smoking now, and you wanted to put smoke be going in it. Man, this thing is a sewing machine. Look at that. It was shaking like crazy, and I think a lot of that was just having the vacuum lines unhooked was messing with us. Our fuel filter looks good. Turn them back and forth. Is the power steering working all right? It is? It's so easy? It don't even, it don't even have a bunch of blow-by or anything. I know. Okay, so put your foot on the brake. You want me to put it in gear? Yeah. Keep your foot on the brake. Alright, just push. Right. Oh my gosh, we kicked out the hardboard in there. It kicked it out. Alright. So it takes put it in reverse. See if reverse works. Okay. Now what about drive? Neutral and drive. Neutral? Alright, try drive. <laughs> It kicked these out. All right, put it back in park. Well, let's pull it outside. What do you say? Woo. What, well, is, we have transmission what is the AC work? How crazy would that be? We're good on transmission fluid, it looks like. Y'all, look this thing right here. I'm in love. Chirp, chirp. It's so quiet. Great work. They're not bad. Try to spin it. No, not yet. Oh, it's in the gravel. Oh, you just put it in gear and it spins. <laughs> Jeez. So, you wanted to try the air. I bet it, it might blow some rat guts out on us. Oh, okay. None of that works. Look, the fan don't even come on. Oh. <laughs> Are you backing up? What is it? I think our fan is probably not hooked up. We got to get some gas in this thing. That is not going to be enough fuel. I just love these wrap steering wheels. Oh, timing's a little high. Or maybe it's because we're idled too high. It runs so smooth. I can just see it in your eyes, the love. Oh wait, hey, that's that's factory. That holds the headliner up. I knew you're falling in love with this thing. Crunches in. Yeah. This is probably one of your best driving cars yet. I know, it, it runs like a top. I'm wanting to see what it looks like cleaned up too. That's gonna be a big moment. Oh yeah. Let's get some gas in it. I mean, if we're gonna drive it, Ralphie, can't be losing our tail lights out. It's just the hazards of living that Fairmont life, you know? We go to get gas, and he talks me into getting candy. He says it's for him and mom. <laughs> you threw mom in there, you know? It's like, oh, it's for, we need to get mom some candy. How do you talk me into all this stuff? <laughs> this ought to help things. Which it looked like the fuel was clean in the filter. We must've got pretty much everything out of it, I hope. Where do you want to drive this thing to? We could go by my dad's and see Bryson. Oh, yeah. Show them the car. Oh, yeah, let's do that. Okay. They'll like that. Yeah. I'm telling you, I love this thing. Oh, I absolutely do, too. It's it like... Feel, it feels good, like... It just seats. feels right, doesn't it? Yes. It needs a bigger engine, though. Bucket seat, floor shifted. Look, it's got... These have the elapsed time button, like the old Mustangs. When we would drive the old Foxways, you've been there. Hit the elapsed time button, see how fast you were. This is perfect car. Yes. Will it start it up without having to pump the gas? <laughs> this of thing. Here we go. Chirps the casings and everything. Oh, <laughs> it's so smooth. Oh my gosh, it's so smooth. Look, how the brakes? Pretty good. Not perfect, but good. We do this every time. We fall in love with, with everyone we're in. We fall well, in love with it. This is like another level. This is another level. Right now, I'd just be happy for having all three gears. That would be nice. Back on the road after 15 years. We'll see how this goes, huh? It feels like it sits low. Come on, second. Hey, the gear, the, it's like a... Um, oh, auctioneer speed on her? Yeah. The bids are pretty low, though. We got three gears. We're golden. Can we take this turn in this sports car? At least we don't have to worry about a bad casing. When's the last time you drove like a Fairmont Futura actually, basically? I've never drove one. I've never owned one that 
drove yet. Yeah, this is the first yeah, one. Yeah, that's what I was thinking about. This Crazy. is the first one. No, you've had. I've so had many. several, but this is the first one that drives. Normally, our first drives don't make it this far. We just get around the yard or real close by the house, but we're feeling pretty confident about this one. think the radio works you smell like a brake smell I, no. I got a whiff of like some brakes hanging up on this thing this just makes it all worth it doesn't it yes i got a feeling with this one it didn't have rusted out floors you know the brakes kind of worked when we unloaded off the trailer and i thought this right here it's gonna over deliver sure enough it did this just takes me back to my childhood riding around them 80s cars you never get past your childhood it seems like favorite thing about this car go there's a lot there is a lot to like here yes i really like that it has good interior i've realized with buying these rough cars that finding a car with good interior you're like thousands of dollars ahead if it has good interior because it's some of this stuff you can't even buy especially these kind of cars like where are you going to get Mer mercury zephyr interior you ain't It's definitely not loud. We may have to do a little something to the exhaust, huh? I mean, these cars really don't have gauges. I guess one of these lights is gonna tell us something. If something goes up wrong, I guess. She's not all that fast, but it's not bad. I mean, it gets out of its own way. 103,000 miles, so just getting broke in. It started on the very first attempt. We didn't even pump the I gas. Thought it would. You thought it would start first attempt? You're right. Looking at the engine, it looked nice. Mint. This thing is still in the plastic, as my buddy Roy would say. <laughs> Got the headliner flopping in the background. This is just a car you want to drive to nowhere. Just like drive around in it, in the back roads like this. You don't even have to have a destination. You can have fun in a car like this. Ooh, he's fast. Oh, he kicked down when I gave it throttle. I really don't want to floor it. Makes sense. Considering it's been sitting a long time. We need to get a few miles under it and then we'll try to floor it. Well, we've at least got to 35 miles an hour so far. I wonder what's the top speed. I'm of course, looking at those brake hoses, I don't want to get too much speed. How many cars do we have with a fuel gauge at work? Two? I don't know. Two or three? Shoot, the blinker works, Ralphie. There used to be a junkyard up here, Ralphie, but like a lot of junkyards, it all got scrapped, unfortunately. I hate to see a junkyard disappear. I've seen, there's been several in our area in my lifetime that uh, just got scrapped. Ralphie, you think we can make it all the way to Dad's and back? Yes. It's about a 10 or 15 minute drive to my dad's. <laughs> I love driving this thing. I don't know what else to say. Steering feels tight. See, that's the thing I like about these cars. They have a rack and pinion steering, which at the time was kind of a new thing. They don't have all the steering box and drag link and idler arms and pitman arms. You don't have any of that. So these things actually do drive pretty good. I really wish the black one would have started. The black V8 car, you know, 302 one. If you haven't seen it, we got a black Fairmont Futura with a 302. And man, I was hoping that thing would run. and. We gotta tear that engine down, don't we? Because I think we, it's jump time. We need to put a bigger engine in this. You're already ready to well, engine swap I know, this? But it's only got like a inline six. Let me guess, Godzilla? That would actually be good. You kinda just kinda enjoy what you got though, for a little bit at least. At least drive it like this for a while, you know? What was that noise? I'm a dragon probably. We're dragging something. They better be home after we drive all the way over here. We didn't call them ahead of time, so we're hoping that they're home. Huh. The brakes do get a little squishy from time to time. It's almost like they have air in the system, or maybe it's those old rubber hoses, but you kind of got to pump the brakes. Sometimes in life, you just got to pump the brakes, don't you? If you're wondering where Wawa and Squeezy are, they went to a wedding, so they thought a wedding was more important than the first drive in a Mercury Zephyr. I don't Ranger. know how. Oh. You, you, you spotted a ranger? 
This boy can spot a ranger from a thousand yards. Well, we are on his road now. We're about to pull up. Let's see if they're home. Sometimes, you know, in Tennessee, you just pull up to people's house and figure out if they're home then. You don't always have to know what they're doing or whether or not they want visitors. I'm sure they want visitors. Maybe they're here. Look, we'll just drive right in the yard. How about that? Oh, here we go. Oh, wow, off-roading. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> you called it, didn't you? Yeah. All right, oh, is it gonna diesel again? Yes, it is. It's gonna diesel again. See, see if we got anything going on here. Nothing's on fire. That's good, they're healthy. Look at that. Look at all these shiny parts we put on it. It runs like a top. It drives awesome, like transmission shifts, Everything does good. Yeah, it's probably got a C4 in it, right? I, I guess it's a C4, it's three speed, I don't know. Yeah, it's what, it what do you think about it, Bryson? You like it? It's very new. Very new? <laughs> is this dad approved? Here. Look, don't you like that? Bucket seat? Yeah, I mean, I like it. Don't you it. like that dash and stuff? Yeah, it's a good car. Good door panels? I mean, where do you find cars with good door panels? I don't know. I'm gonna crank it up. Should start, you shouldn't have to pump it or nothing, I don't think. Okay, I lied to you. Oh, there he goes. Yeah, I didn't pump right. <laughs> Oh, he's gonna rip it up here. Hey, we flipped the lid, Dad. We went next level. Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah, I did too. Turn the headlights on. Let's see if they work. Yeah, we got headlights. But we're still carrying the waspers around with us. We found some waspers under the bumper about killed us all. Is this Bryson approved? This is very Bryson approved. It's got coffee in it. <laughs> all right, don't don't use up all my fuel, Dad. Come on. It's dog three quarters of tank. Oh, 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 hey, don't worry about that. They all do that. Well, I couldn't believe it had a full set of good caps on it. Why not? Well, I better get home before I break down, don't you think? You're not going to break down. That's a, that's a I've, clean I have broke down before. I know that. I don't know if you've watched the videos, but I've broke down before. I know you have. You, where's the last time you broke down? This week? Yeah, uh, this what? week. The Malibu transmission acted up, and the time before that, the 52 Ford truck started for fuel on the side of a darn mountain. Yeah, I like that car. I thought you would approve of it. Yeah, I do. I, like I know it. it's not a Chevrolet. You're a Chevrolet man, but... I got a little bit of air fryer. I wonder where he got All right, I'll see you. I wonder where he got that. <laughs> Jellyfish. The patina looks really nice. Just wash it, and the only thing it really needs is a windshield. Ralphie, this is the only one we have that doesn't have a warped up cow screen. It must have sat inside uh -huh. a lot. Remember, Jesus saves, but George Nelson withdraws, Dad. <laughs> is it smoking? No, it doesn't smoke. It's a Ford. I'm gonna leave before you try to buy it. <laughs> I hadn't even made an offer. I see it in your eye. Watch out, you'll hit your drag. We only drag once coming in. This way, go ahead to the angle. Alright, Dad's yeah, teaching me how to drive. We got raccoon prints on the back glass. I just noticed that. You'll drag something. Bye. Thanks for the driving lessons. Well, I mean, that's where I hit it. Alright, here we go. We're off. If we would have stayed there five minutes longer, he would have owned this thing is what would have happened. You gotta, that man likes to buy cars, don't he? Somebody cooking a burger? You smell that? Yeah, it smells that. Whew. We ought to pull in there and see what they're cooking. We should get a trampoline. We don't need a trampoline. Wawa has already broke one arm. We don't need another one. The girl just doesn't fall well. I don't know what it is. Take her Ranger. to the, <laughs> Ranger alert. Take her to the skate park one time and comes out with her arm looking like that. Sad day. What'd you like seeing Bryson? Yeah. That's your buzz, huh? Yeah. Dad always had Chevrolets growing up. Now he has bought some Ford since then. It's fun, fun. But most of the time that man likes his Chevrolets. Ranger. I don't know what's wrong up. with him. There's a Ranger. There's a Ranger. Let her pass. Um, yeah, you gotta let the Rangers go by. I'm gonna salute him when he comes. This is a tough place to pull out. Or, oh, not even gear. That was not good. <laughs> I fumbled that. That's a hard place to pull out anyway, and I had her in neutral. Survivor cars. I mean, you've seen what Survivor cars bring to. Cars with good original interior and good original paint, which this paint, you know, isn't, I wouldn't call it good original paint, but it is hard to find a car in good shape, an older one. They get sat outside and then they just fall to pieces. We need to fix the 
We do. We need to get on the Savoy, get the brakes going on it, get some new casings on it. I like that car. I do too. Floor shifted. That Savoy is a one owner car. He bought that car brand new. Have you ever bought a car like brand spanking? No. No, I never bought a new car. I may never do it. Oh yeah, we watched a Motor Week review on an LTD about this year, and that thing's like rolling over like this in the curves. Look at a Motor Week review on an 83 LTD. Cars rolling like this, and like the handling is surprisingly good. Anybody else ever watch Motor Week back in the day? I remember watching that on Saturdays, uh, them reviewing new cars, which now are old cars. That was my Saturday routine, was watching like Motor Week and uh, Power Block TV. I forgot. It was Horsepower TV. I love watching that stuff on the weekends. The OG days. Yeah. Back before YouTube. I guess that's where I got my inspiration to do stuff like this was watching those guys. The first reality car show I remember watching was Boyd Coddington show. You guys watched it. You know, you were there. Man, that was before YouTube. That would be perfect. Like, if you had a V8 in here that was really powerful... Uh, and leave it looking exactly like like even the stock shifter would be cool if only I would have been lucky enough to drive a cool car like this to high school huh I had a Buick Park Avenue not the best cool high school car all day long he asked me dad what if you could pick any car any engine like all day long we talk about this stuff so Ralphie if you could do anything to this car what would you do? Six speed Godzilla. Six speed manual Godzilla. That would be awesome. I'm with you, buddy. I put a hood scoop on it. Hood scoop? You're so I'm much on like I'm pulling over and letting you out. Hood scoop on this? Come on. Well, you're like so sleeper OG stuff. I'm like OG. awesomeness. Well, probably like 80. It's a it's a 80s car, so it only registers 85. No, it would go more than 80 if it's running correctly. I mean, you could probably get this thing up in the 90s, maybe 100. This thing probably has at least a 273 gear, if I was guessing. Ooh, did you what hear that? that? That was a Silverado, son. Show a little respect, okay? Yeah, you gotta pump the brakes when you stop. It's just it's a thing. All the cool kids are doing. Yeah, all the cool kids are pumping their brakes when they stop. So it has four lights on the dash. One of them looks like an alien's head with an exclamation mark in the middle. I don't know what that does. One is a little engine light. One's a battery light, one's a seatbelt light. So they didn't even put an oil light and a temp light. I think they just combined them into something's wrong light is what the alien head is, I believe. I've seen the we alien definitely before. should have cleaned our windshield because I can't see anything when the sun hits it. That's unfortunate. Girls are gonna be so sad they missed this. We got some speed up now. Oh man, 35 on these back roads, we are flying. I mean, who would go to a wedding instead of driving this car? I don't want to call it too soon, but I think we're gonna make it home, Ralphie. We only got another mile or so to go. We could push it from here probably before dark. Floor it. Uh, we'll we'll floor it when we get on the straightaway here at the house. We'll get closer to the house before we floor it. How about that? We had a couple like old 80s cars around the farm growing up. And every now and then after I got my license, I would get to drive like from one part of the farm to the other in an old, old 80s car. Yeah, I ripped it across the field in uh, a few 80s cars like this. I think that's where I fall in love with them. Ralphie wants me to floor it. Here you go. That's to the floor. Like how fast will it get up here? Before it shifts. Is it going to shift? Oh, I don't want to hurt it. It shifted at 35 in the second gear. It revved for a long time. It didn't smoke. It doesn't look like it smoked at all. That's so We're going to make it home again. Have we ever not made it home in a first drive? We've never had to get towed home or anything. And... The motorhome wasn't the first drive before you say that. We made it. Never had a light come on. We're assuming the temperature and oil pressure is good because the do, the lights do work. 
So, but the alien head never lit up, so I think we're good. I think I don't think it's the timing. I think it just needs to be idled down. Well, it don't seem like it's like messed up timing or anything. Yeah, it's not hard to start, so I don't yeah. think it's the timing. I think it's just too high of idle. Are you in love with it? Yes. I don't know if I could be more in love. Only way I could be more in love with this car is if it was a 302 car with a four speed or something. Ralph, you know what he's already said. Guess what he's already said. Godzilla engine. Yeah, he's like six speed Godzilla swap. I said, I'm with you, son. You don't have to tell me twice. You forgot the turbo. <laughs> Did you get out? Daddy let you out. Hello. We gotta finish this video off. Come you? on. Got it? Ah, can we do it? Oh, you cheated. I mean, this is probably the most successful will it start we've ever had, I think. It may be because this car was more than $500. I'm not sure if that has anything to do with it. It's you mean to tell me you paid more than $500 for this car? Um, perfectly good running, completely stock survivor car. And this guy wants to engine swap it immediately. Where did you get that from? Uh, whatever I see. You can check us out on our second channel app. Sleepy Dude too. You can check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok app. Sleepy Dude 88. Um, We've been putting some short videos up on our Facebook uh, page. You probably have seen by now. So go check those out. Some of those are, you know, builds we did six months ago or whatever that you may not have seen. We did something on the Super Coupe and the old Galaxy we had and our 454 build. So check those out. Okay. Hope you like this one. I know I'm always buying Fairmonts and stuff, but you got to do what you love, guys. And that's what my wife's here for is to get some of those mainstream cars in. So don't yeah. worry. We're going to be working on the F100 very soon. We finally got parts in for that thing. There you go. Mm, that's that good stuff. Oh, Sorry. A wasp? Sorry. Yes. Sorry. Oh man, you better not get a wasp around my wife. She gets wound up. Look, look at this grill too. Oh man. You can see our merchandise down below. We don't have a website, don't go looking for it, okay? Oh, she's ready for her RC Cola is what she's ready for. I hate that the girls miss this, you know? I think Wawa would have really liked getting a ride in it. Uh, oh yeah. She likes this stuff. Squeezy, she probably don't care either way. She'd probably rather not. She probably like it once I get it cleaned up and it drives good. And mom, I actually bought her a new car and you might even see it in the next video. I don't know yet. It's I don't know awesome. what order we're gonna get them done, but you might see mama's new car in the next video. You guys are gonna like it. She likes it. It's great. I love it. They, he loves it. So uh, we hinted around about it on our, uh, our second channel video when we hit 100,000 getting our trophy. You'll see that car very soon. Uh, this is not the car we were talking about. Thanks to you guys for that stay to the end of our videos. I know they're long. I hope you like them. Let me know if you don't. Yeah, thanks for staying to the end of the video. We really appreciate it. We have a lot of fun out here messing with these old cars. Sometimes the work isn't uh, super fun. Sometimes they fight us. Like that casing. Can you believe how that casing fought us? Anyway, we will see you guys in the next video. We need to get back on the Plymouth Savoy. Uh, we need to get back on the Red Fairmont Futura Big Block Twin Turbo car. Don't you think, Ralphie? Oh, yeah. Ralphie's been wanting to go drag racing. We need to go down the drag strip soon. Uh, let us know if you'd like to see us go to the drag strip. We may uh, drag test the Malibu. What do you think? Oh, yeah. May go in the Malibu soon. May go in the Super Coupe soon. We're planning on taking the Super Coupe to uh, Ford Fest, so you might see us there. We'll see you guys in the next video. As always, we appreciate you guys watching. Uh, without you guys, this wouldn't be possible. And I always like to tell you guys we appreciate you. Mercury Zephyr or Corvette? Uh, I knew you'd say Corvette. All right, we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Let's give Vanya some RC Cola. Give her a drink. Now go slow with her. You know oh, she. Oh Lord. my gosh. She, she was dying for that. Mmm. Ew. Ew. Oh, you got it on your hand. <laughs> you got it on your hand. All right, tell them bye. Peace out, Girl Scout. Like and subscribe. Bye. Not my bush, Rocky. Look, Rocky's gonna tear up Mama's bushes. She plants a whole row of trees here, and he has, like, ruined almost every one of them already. Buy a goat, they said. Rocky, It'll be fun, no. they said. No. Rocky. Hey. No. No, Rocky. Rocky, no.
He is not listening. I'm gonna kill it. Well, Wawa is back from the wedding now and wants to drive it. So Definitely. we're gonna drive it. All right, crank her up. Oh, Smooth start. as can be. You get one more to go. There oh. you go. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, all right. Oh, 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 okay. I think we just had a spring pop out of the pocket there. Nothing oh, to worry. Right, gonna... Don't get too fast. You're scaring me already. All right, this thing's pristine. What do you think? I like it. It drives smooth. It does drive smooth, like, Woo. considering how bumpy we're driving through, it does drive smooth. We couldn't do a wheel at start without making circles in our yard. You know, yeah, impossible. That's right. How the brakes work? Okay. I heard like a bubble sort of sound when you did that. Like crunchy. Yeah. Maybe, maybe one day. You might own a, a car that's nice, you know? This is pretty nice. Is the sun, like, basically blocks all view when the sun comes out. Hey, we're not driving on the road. We're good. Nothing to worry about. Ralphie, do you want to give her a drive? Yeah. Okay. Well. It's a little bouncy. I probably need some shocks for one thing. Oh my gosh, are you going? Oh, <laughs> oh we man. talked about how smooth it is, and now oh. you're jumping hills in it. Oh, that's fine. All right, why don't you pull over there? And uh, what is it? Oh my god, did I kill it? Give it some gas. What are you doing to it? I didn't do anything else. Man. We drove it like 20 miles. All right, stop. Okay. Well, let's let Ralphie drive before you kill this thing. <laughs> I don't know what it's doing. It's about, it's about to die there. She like didn't get enough gas and it like. I don't know what it did. Like started to die. It didn't ever did that with us. All right, let's get your seat before you got a little lever there. Oh. Here, you need more than that? Or are you good? Go. All right, that's it. I think that's all you got. Perfect. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ralphie's off. Oh, that's You can try, yeah, go ahead. Uh, there's no spinning going on there. No, no, <laughs> Just no. moving forward. <laughs> what a beauty. The power steering. Is it perfect? You like yes. power steering and power brakes, don't you? This is like the perfect size for me. I mean like the distance from the steering wheel to the, I to like the it uh, too. seat. I really like this car. Ralphie really likes cars that he can fit in right and drive. Like nice. if the seat will go really far forward, he loves it. Hey, you're, it's stumbling again on you, huh? Just, weird. Oh, we should look at the fuel filter. I haven't looked at it since we got back. I'm having PTSD from South Dakota. Uh, <laughs> oh, it what? died. It died. Oh, no, no, no. Uh-oh. No, no, no. Uh-oh, it's died. The power no, like, I, I'm Yeah, because it runs off a pump. All right, try it. Give it some... Okay, maybe it's just, I don't know what's up. Probably needs a little bit of carb work, if I had to guess. All right, well, we don't want to put 100,000 miles on the front yard, so. You ready? It's probably good enough, yeah. Don't go farther than your brakes, okay? All right, well, I think we've done about enough, Ralphie. Of course you gotta rev her up. You're done. <laughs> He's already trying. He's already been trying to spin and everything else. I can't actually lean my arms all the way. Like you like that? Them. Yeah. Did you like, kill it too? It like stumbled. Yeah, it completely died on him. What do you think? I like it. You gonna drop it's it? Daddy, nice. ready? She wants a uh, she wants a Volkswagen Beetle. She said. Daddy. What? I don't know. Or a little Geo Tracker. You like Geo Trackers, right? Yes, they're my fave. So Rick. what's better, Beetle or Tracker? Oh God. I don't I mean, that'd be so hard. Oh man, I don't know. I think I trackers, trackers like, because you like the trackers better. Just because you had one, and it was kind of like my favorite. It was the ever. first thing you ever drove, and it probably. was my favorite color too. It was like green teal. It was like, 
All right, back to the Zephyr now. Do you love? I love the hubcaps. I just love it, man. Everything yeah, about it. It, it. it suits you, Dad. We gotta fix the brake hoses and clean it up. Yeah. Maybe road trip it. What do you think about a road trip? I'd maybe if it don't snowball or <laughs> South Dakota, then maybe. All right, tell them bye. Bye. Peace out. All right, for real, bye this time. For real.